Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to be talking about complementary and supplementary angles. And specifically, I want to use 70 degrees. So this is the angle in question. And what we want to do is find the complement and supplement of 70 degrees. So again, this falls under the category or topic of complementary and supplementary angles. This is like basic geometry concepts that uh, uh, you know all students really should be familiar with, whether you're taking a full geometry course or not. This is just good knowledge, and it's not that complex. Now, if you know how to find the complement and supplement of 70 degrees, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Matter of fact, go ahead and define for me what a complementary angle is and a supplementary angle is. This is pretty easy stuff, and it's also easy to confuse. Now, I'm going to show you the right answer here in a second, and then we're going to just kind of do a quick review of complementary and supplementary angles. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep, or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answers here. So we uh, again, we're talking about 70 degrees. We want to find the complement and the supplement of 70 degrees. The answer is the following. So the complement of 70 degrees is 20, and the supplement of 70 degrees is 110 degrees, or 20 degrees, or rather, I think it just says 20. I need to be um, more specific, 20 degrees. Okay, so how'd you do? Well, if you got this right, that's really great. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars, so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly what complementary and supplementary angles are okay now if we kind of look at uh you know the answers here you're like okay the complement of 70 degrees is 20 you know you kind of could maybe follow a pattern here a supplement of 70 degrees is 110 we know think about what's going on here maybe there's something that you know we can do with these numbers like add them up or subtract them but 70 and 20 if we add them up what do we get well we get 90 degrees here and 70 and 110, what do we get? We get 180 degrees. So if you were kind of looking at the answers and thinking, hmm, I, maybe I kind of know what the definition of these words are. Well, you know what? Uh, using kind of common sense, you know, and just basic logic is often not a bad strategy. So let's go ahead and actually define what complementary angles and supplementary angles are. Very, very straightforward stuff here. So complementary angles are effectively the following, just two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so any two angles that up, add up to 90 degrees is complementary angles. Okay, so let me just show you right here. Uh, kind of make a quick sketch. Uh, so, hold on one second. So, let's say I have some sort of uh, angle. It's, uh, say, 60 degrees, right? And I want to know the uh, complement, okay? Yeah, that's what we're, that's when you want to know the complementary angle, you're trying to find the complement. It's the angle such that this angle plus this angle adds up to 90 degrees. So of course, in this particular problem, it would be 30 degrees, right? Because uh, 30 degrees plus 60 degrees is 90. So uh, here, uh, we're talking about comp these two angles are complementary. This is the complement of that angle, okay? So just to make sure you're crystal clear on this terminology. All right, so supplementary angles, basically the same concept, but in this case, it's two angles that add up to 180 degrees, and we can think of it uh, the same way. We have the angle, uh, its supplement is the angle such that you add it to that angle, you get 180 degrees. All right, so now let's go ahead and just um, answer this question. Find the complement and supplement of 70 degrees. How do we do this? Uh, very simple. So the complement is going to be some angle plus that angle, right? The complement plus the uh, angle in question, 70 degrees, we know that the sum of this is going to be 90 degrees. So we can just write a real basic algebraic equation, or you literally could just take 70 degrees and subtra uh, subtract it away from 90 degrees. Either way, you're going to end up with 20 degrees if we solve this equation. And supplementary angles is going to be that angle, or the supplement, plus the angle in question, 70 degrees. We know that the sum is going to be 180 degrees. So when I solve this little equation here, that's going to be 110 degrees. 
All right, so real short video on complementary and supplementary angles. There is a lot of different types of angles in geometry. Okay, so the fir very first basic type of angles you learn is complementary and supplementary angles. Then you can get into all kinds of good stuff like vertical angles. And then you start studying parallel lines or transversals. There's all kinds of fascinating angles in uh, geometry. So if you need help with complementary and supplementary angles, I'm going to suggest that you check out my full geometry course. You'll learn about all sorts of angles. And this is really important stuff. But uh, even if you're not at, let's say, a high school level geometry yet, you know, it's probably um, a good chance that you're already you know, may have been introduced to complementary and supplementary angles. But again, this stuff is not that difficult. And hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.